Howdy y'all, this is your boy OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with yet another custom NASCAR Diecast review from my good buddy, Little Wrangler 3, also known as Andrews, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to be mentioning him a lot in this review like I did on the Alex Bowman car, but today it's on a very special Diecast that I'm really glad to have in my collection, because you know, I am, you know, a particular fan of this driver, I mean, last time I checked, I think I am, <laughs> uh, just kidding though, today it is on Mark Shrek Jr.'s 2021 Bass Pro Shops, uh, Tracker Boats, ATVs, Toyota Camry for Drugs Racing, but this is no ordinary Truex diecast. This is a custom race win, and you're probably wondering, okay, uh, the million-dollar question today of this, is this uh, the Phoenix win, or is this the Martinsville win? Well, luckily, that answer has been um, officially answered, and it is the Martinsville win. So how about that? Martinsville win for Martin Truex Jr., really cool. Um, pretty cool that you know, we we're able to get yet another, Mar I, I was able to get another Martinsville win in the collection, um, thanks to the little Wrangler, but really cool. Oh, nice, uh, zoom out of focus right there, dipshit. <laughs> but this is such a cool diecast, man. I, I would just go ahead and start talking about it, but I want to go and uh, open this SOB and let's take a closer look at the Mark Trex Jr. 2021 Bass Pro Shops Martinsville win. And alrighty guys, we got this diecast out of the box, and man, let me tell you what, this car absolutely freaking rocks. It really rocks the socks off to me, and heck, uh, it did too bad I'm not wearing any orange socks, because man, I'd definitely be uh, rocking those SLBs right now. But back to this diecast, that was a really weird segue, Brian. Um, this is a cool diecast, man, let me tell you what, um... I, 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 let, I, let me just say, I, I still just cannot believe that <laughs> I got all those diecasts from Little Wrangler 3. I literally just, I hate to keep mentioning, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but just, I cannot thank him enough for just, um, for just doing that for me. That was a very friendly gesture, and, um, heck, you're the man, Andrew. You are the man, and just keep doing what you gotta do, because he definitely did a good job, uh, doing this, uh, doing this car. I think he even did a review on both this car and the actual, uh, on the, uh, yeah, the actual diecast. Yeah, we know, Brian, uh, the Alex Bowman, uh, Dover win. We know it's a diecast, but man, look at this, man. This thing is so freaking cool. You got, you know, um, that, that, I, I don't know if, like, if the actual car looks like this or not. I mean, I didn't really see the diecast renders, but let me tell you what, man, when this thing, uh, was declared as a race win i mean lord lord this thing definitely lives up to its name it is definitely a race win for sure my lord um you know there's two things i love about race wins confetti and seeing a lot of build up and this thing has a lot of build up my lord looks like this thing was like uh it was like i don't know like i don't know <laughs> i don't even know how to describe this man this thing just looks really cool it kind of looks like a freaking uh like a mosaic art piece or something I don't know, maybe I'm just saying that because, you know, the bright colors and then you got the smeary colors. I don't know. Kind of looks like a, like, like a painting, kind of. You know what I mean? Um, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But, heck, I, whatever, though. I mean, I'm going crazy over a freaking custom race win. Let's just say that. They got the Bass Pro Shops logo, Johnny Morris. Um, look at that fish right there. Oh, he's even just shocked as I am uh, <laughs> seeing this uh, custom win. But, yeah, uh, really, really cool front end we got right there, coming down to the side right here, um, this is uh, cool, another cool feature that Lil Wrangler does with his, uh, with his custom diecast, he cuts out the, uh, the window net right here, and he actually puts an actual, uh, piece of mesh right here, which is really cool, uh, really, uh, I really like that detail, it reminds me of the, uh, what the Elite 164s used to do back then, um, yeah, but look at that, that thing is mesh right there, and that is pretty damn cool. The Reese's logo is all nice and dirty. Uh, we got a chip right there in the NASCAR logo. Um, oh my God, look at that orange, that deep orange outline. Holy crap, that's that's lying else fault though. That is not on uh, Lil Wrangler. My Lord, I didn't even realize how bad the deep orange. Look at that orange outline right there on the B post. Holy crap, that is bad. Oh my lord, that's probably the only thing that's distracting from this being a perfect diecast. <laughs> but I can't complain on a custom diecast, man. This is cool. Dude, it looks like they had some fuel residue or something right there. That's kind of what it looks like. That's pretty cool. Um, still see the Bass Pro Shops logo. Um, I don't know, looking pretty closely. It just says Ba Pro Sh Shops. <laughs> Grats, I know English now. Um, and we got Racker Boats. Just kidding. Just says Tracker Boats. But yeah, this is pretty cool, guys. I mean, look at this. Uh, he even paints the details underneath. Um, uh, well, yeah, underneath. Yeah, that's what under, well, that's what uh, the terminology of underneath is, guys. Um, yeah, because clearly I said that's underneath, but you know what I mean. Inside. Let's say that. That's the inside of the cockpit. Um, but yeah, uh, the steering wheel, that is nice. The battery is all nice and colored. Really really cool detail look at this even the uh, even the top end of this car looks really cool guys it's all just raced up and just uh, there's smear marks everywhere look at that. even the truex's uh, name banner is also freaking um 
all smeared up with all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, Mark Rex Jr., he has just been so dominant at Martinsville the last, uh, what, like three out of five times, I think, the last time, uh, you know, Mark Rex Jr. has got into victory lane at Martinsville. Um, whoa, holy crap, we do got this spoiler is very chipped up, but heck, I could probably fix that with some Sharpies, so can't really complain right there, but my lord, it looks like that thing was uh, in a freaking, uh, like in a freaking earthquake or something, my lord, but thankfully sharpie will fix that because sometimes i gotta do the dirty details for lionel because you know they can't do that <laughs> basspro.com and on this side we got even some more uh scuff marks right there on the uh, goodyear tire um just yeah this car is just literally just oh look at that gap right there yeah look at that there is a paint chip there is a paint chip inside the car oh how wonderful and we got more paint chips on the freaking roof rail too oh lordy have mercy uh i don't know what happened there but uh i guess the lineup production quality wasn't that good <laughs> but it's all good though it is all good um heck maybe as soon as i probably took this car out of the box maybe it just started chipping away like a decaying body but um yeah, enough of me saying stuff about Lionel's quality. You know what I'm going to say. I mean, I this is going to be a mostly positive review because I just love customs, man. And this is such a cool custom that was made by Little Wrangler 3. Did a really good job replicating uh, this very special win. Um, yeah, and this win was pretty special, man, because Martin Truex Jr., man, I mean, at a track name mostly after him. Uh, <laughs> Martinsville, definitely Martin Truex Jr.'s favorite uh, track to go to. Uh, let's just say that. Um, he's definitely been the quite the short track racer. Uh, and, heck, this one right here was really cool, especially since he beat a Denny Hamlin in it. It makes it even better. But I'll just show you guys the type of that comparison of the standard car just to show you guys how raced this is. Um, but just look at how much of the orange is just completely covered up with this buildup. Really cool, man. Really, really cool. I mean, just my lord. I, I just love doing these comparisons for you guys because it just really just shows you just how raced up these cars are. And you can see right there, there's the standard release. And look at that, the, the, the orange outline is just as bad as it is right there. So, yeah, I don't know. It looks like it's a little bit more worse because it looks like it's like a brownish or a reddish color. You know what I mean? But, yeah, side-by-side -side comparison right there looks really cool. I just I just love how the Goodyear tires are even rubbed off, too. The back is pretty much the same besides, you know, some chipping. Oh, look at this. There's even chipping on that part of the spoiler, too. I see a common issue, Lionel. Um, looks like the Capella's logo is a little cut off, too. And then coming down to the other side. Pretty much same sponsor wise, but it is different since one is a race version, one's not. So, yeah, you guys be uh, the deciding factor of, you know, I would say you guys can go out and get both of these, but, you know, if you know a custom maker, then heck, they could probably do a good job replicating this. But once again, Little Wrangler, Andrew, can't thank you enough for uh, making this die cast and uh, more importantly, shipping this SOB to my house. So, really cool. Uh, great stuff. Check out Little Wrangler 3 in the in the description down below. And um, heck, even if he comments this video, I'll probably pin him because heck, this, he's definitely the star of the show uh, for these next set of reviews. But. Can't think of them enough, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review of Bar Trek Junior's 2021 Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boats, uh, ETV's Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing, the Martinsville Race Win. Comment, like, subscribe, and this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. See you guys next time on another custom NASCAR diecast review.